Hey folks, my name's The Raven, you know me. I'm standing right here in downtown Adrian, Michigan, USA. I'm gonna show you something really, really cool. We made a movie over here a while back. Chalner and Company. This place has been here for 145 years, folks. And it was an old looking store, but they just remodeled the place. And I'm gonna show you what the new place looks like now. It's fabulous inside. Let's go for a walk. Meet some friends. Here you go. Chalner and Company. Hey, Hi, to what's your name? My name is Gilbert Salazar. Hi Gilbert, how you doing? Very well, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good um, you. Could you give us a little tour of Chalner? Absolutely, come that on in. That would be great, come thank on you. In. Wow, you guys fixed this place up nice, look at this. Yes, we did. Uh, it took approximately uh, two years to renovate this whole area. Uh, Chalmers was one of the uh, legendary uh, stores way back in the, in the day, you know. So, yeah, this is quite a difference from what it used to be. Right. It looked a lot different in here before. Now, that thing back there, that's a humidor, am I correct? That's, that's correct. We're focusing on uh, sound cigars. And that's a 300 square foot uh, humidor. Wow, you can walk right in it and everything. Absolutely. Would that's you like to go cool. back and look at it? Yeah, let's look around the store a little bit first. Let me pan this place. I want to show everybody how you guys changed this place. Look at this. I mean, it's just fabulous. Now you're, you're heading right into the one of the, uh, the popcorn popper that used to be yeah. here way back in the day. Uh, refurbished and uh, polished up a little bit. The popcorn still t tastes the same as it did back in the old days. So. That's really cool because I'm going to be in here buying some of that popcorn oh, it's real delicious. soon. Yeah, yeah. I used to do that when I was a kid. And I mean, I think everybody that grew up around here in Adrian has the same kind of story. They all used to come in here when they were a kid. You it know? was. It was a favorite, mm -hmm. one of the favorite stores of uh, many, many ch uh, kids back in the day. And everyone has, like you mentioned, a, a story of some kind uh, associated with Chalmers uh, and, and the family that, uh, that owned it back then. Right. Now, there was a guy uh, named Bill Chalmers. He owned the place uh, for a while. And that's kind of where the name came from, isn't it? That's correct. That's okay. correct. And it's been that name for over 100 years, probably. And I noticed that you kept a lot of the old photographs, too. These are fabulous. I love these. It's nice going down memory lane, you know, uh, and that's why we put a lot of these old photos and, and uh, charts up, not charts, but the uh, the history of the Chalmers at uh -huh. that point, you know. So, yeah, it's uh, it takes you back many, many years when you were a child, you know, uh, remembering some of the activities that used to go on here. Right. And Adrian's always been a good town, you know, uh, it gets uh, kind of slighted once in a while, but it's always been a really great place to grow up and people have been coming in here for many, many, many years. Yes, they have. Boy, you guys have fixed it up fabulous. Look at this place. Now, on the floor, um, I think you guys redid the floor, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, everything that you're going to see is... Uh is uh, probably a wood floor of some sort. Uh -huh. This right here is the original uh, wood floor that Chandler had uh, when he had uh, the store. Right. And uh, the story is, is that you couldn't find one level spot on it because it was, it was uh, the way the wood was laid and everything like that. But uh, they sanded it all down, leveled it all off, so now it's, uh, it's the original floor. Wow, it's cool. I'm so glad that you kept that. And it, it makes the same noise. Oh, uh, yes. When you walk on it, I just heard your, your buddy there walking on it. And I remember that from when I was a kid walking in here, the noise that the exactly. floor made. Exactly. And I love that. It's part of challenge. Everyone's had one trip or another on that floor <laughs> way, way back in the days, you know. And then the ceiling is the original ceiling. If oh, my God. That's right. Ceiling, Look at that. It's the original ceiling that's been painted. so uh, And it looks very, very nice. Oh, it does. It's fabulous. And the brick, the structure of the brick is the old brick back in the day, uh, you know, refurbished and made safe, you know, so that uh -huh. you could use it. Uh, right. Yeah, it brings back a lot of memories. Well, let's go for a little walk, Gilbert, and show me around the place, if okay, you would. Okay, uh, let's start off at the humidor. Okay, you? sure. I'll follow you. Okay. 
Again, our candy is still one of the items that uh, we used to bring in a lot and a lot of people in to get the penny candy. Of course, you know, with the days that, uh, and change, you know, you're, right. it's really hard to find penny candy anymore. You sure know what is. I'm but you know what? The kids love that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And this, on this shelf right here, we have candy as well as some uh, t shirts that are for sale and, and some sweatshirts. You know, we're trying to get the name. Uh, of Chalmers back on, on, on the map, so to speak, and so we're offering different items for people that come in. Cool. That is so cool. Let's go take a look at this humidor. This thing is awesome. We, ha we have two resident uh, cigar experts, uh, Zach and, and Logan, and uh, that's the, their main focus is the cigars. And uh, cool. Just go right in there. You'll be more than glad to speak to uh, the cigars. These guys, these guys are experts. All right. Look at this place. This is fabulous. Beautiful here. It is. So you guys tell me a little bit about the cigars in here. So, we the plan was is that we wanted to have a little bit for everybody in here. So we kind of just, that's what we did. We picked out a little bit of everything. The owner helped. We had um. His name's Kyle. He's actually from a shop in Toledo. He helped out get the initial selection. Okay. And then from there on out, he is going to be taking over and ordering everything else. Okay. Like, so what the customers would like, and if if there's something in here that a customer wants that we don't have, then we can order it and stuff and get it from in here. Wow, that's cool. Um, I was looking for a special brand of cigars a couple years back, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And that's when this place was getting remodeled. And I couldn't come in here and get a cigar. But then I had to quit. My lungs can't handle it anymore. <laughs> but uh, but uh, that's kind of sad because now I can get the cigars I want right here. Look at this, folks. Fabulous, fabulous. Brand new humidor right here at Chalner's in Adrian, Michigan. If you need a smoke, folks, it's right here. Look at this. Any kind of cigar you want. I love the new humidor, it's just fabulous. Take a little walk around for you here, show you some of the sights in the humidor. And you can feel the temperature in here, the yeah. humidity a little bit. Yeah, it's Definitely. different than Definitely. you know the outside room. We keep it at a perfect 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% relative humidity. Cool. Perfect. Now that's really optimal for cigars, am I correct? Yes, that's what's going to keep them fresh for their entire life and as long as we live. Okay. Just cool. like wine. With aging, they get better. Right. Sweet. Nice, nice. Brand new humidor right here at Chowners. They have totally remodeled this place. Great. Just look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you to the owners of Chowners for letting us make the movie. Okay folks, I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Something that Chowners has been known for for many, many years. Here's all the candy right there. And you got some newspapers right there. If you want some of the news right there, you can come in here and get a newspaper. And then here's some of the old gum. Y'all remember Beeman's? There it is right there. Clove right next to it. And some blackjack. Uh-huh. They still make them, folks. Look at that. Here's your new counter right here. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Nothing short of fabulous. <laughs> oh my God, this place is beautiful. And I'm just like everybody else, folks. I used to come in here when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Now we're taking a little trip down memory lane. Got all your lighters up there. In case you need a lighter. And you can hear the floor as we walk. 
I love it. Very, very nice job they did on the old place. Look at this. Now here's something, folks, that you're going to recognize. Look at that. There's an old Coca-Cola machine right there. I took... I tried to clean it up and make it look brand new, and then someone says, what are you doing? He says, that's a relic, you know? So uh -huh. it's one of the old uh, coolers, and then it's been refurbished as well, you know? Wow, look at that. Just like the old days, folks. You can come in here and make some new old memories. Look at that. I love the thing. It's fabulous. Now that thing right on the end, that's the bottle opener right exactly. there. Exactly. Uh-huh. I remember that when I was a Bring kid. Bring back some old memories there. Huh? Yeah, pop one of those out there and stick it in there and or pop it open, sure. Exactly, that's why we had the bottles. Right, exactly, cool. Uh-huh, that is so cool. Now that's a memory from my, my childhood right there. Yep. Coca-Cola for you there, folks, look at that. Okay, we're gonna follow Gilbert here. We can't forget the old Indian that was uh, one of the, uh, the sculptures that they had out in front of the store many, many years ago too. Right, I filmed the Indian through the window. It used to be in the other window, and uh, I filmed him on the last movie. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's a lot so of people cool. keep asking for that person, you know. I said, uh -huh. yeah, we still have him. Yeah, cool. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take you up to the stairs, the second level. All right. Be careful with the steps, but uh, they redid this whole building out to the third floor, you know. Uh huh. And you can see the original brick on each side of it. Oh my God, look at this, it's fabulous. And then, good old friend here. Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah. As a matter of fact, right here's uh, Mr. Chalmers right here, and he's got his arm just like I do on him. I don't know if you can see him. Yep, there he is. There he is. Okay, let's go in here. Got it? And this is our bar area that's uh, refurbished. As you can see, uh, we've got a plenty of seating area for the customers. And, and oh, man. We have a, a dual face uh, fireplace uh, where you can have a fire on this side as well as on the other side. Okay. And then if you point right there at that roaster, you'll be able to see uh, this was an original roaster that Mr. Chalmers had way back in the day. Now what did he use to roast in this? Peanuts? Peanuts, yes. Okay. I remember that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Everywhere you turn you're going to have some kind of memory, you know, from Chalmers, you know. Sure. That, that brings back your childhood or of some sort of a memory, right. you know. What a fabulous addition to Adrian. I mean, it was always here, but you guys fixed it up and I mean, wow. Take well, it to I mean, the next level. I mean, you know, you got to combine with the modern with the old, you know, and I think they've done an outstanding job in doing that here, you know. Yes. And offering Adrian something that uh, is enjoyable as well as pleasant and, uh, and you can come in and, and feel very relaxed. Right, so, right. Let's, if you follow me this way, I'll take you into the bar area. Oh, man. As you Look can see, at this. It's a full, I'm going to say full service bar, but it's not because we don't have a, a kitchen as of yet, but uh, it is a full service pretty much, isn't it? Uh-huh. That's Jolyn, the manager. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm just making a little movie here, the new Challoners. Oh, uh -huh. wonderful. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's fabulous. I mean, you guys really fixed the place up. And then there, if you shoot straight up ahead, that's another humidor. Oh, really? Sure. Yes. Great. Showcases some higher end cigars. Wow, look at that. Man, oh man. So you have a, a, a great selection of cigars. I mean, you know, from uh, the mild 
to uh, moderate to the best cigar in, in right. the country. Right. And somebody could come up here, they could buy one of their cigars downstairs or upstairs, come up here, sit down in the chairs and lounge around, get yourself a drink, and just hang around for a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. I never knew you guys had the upstairs. Well, I knew you had an upstairs, but I didn't know it was going to be all fixed up for a oh, lounge like beautiful. this. Oh, it's beautiful. This is one of the best looking. It's fabulous. Cigar uh, bars around. Uh huh. I don't think there's nothing like this in Adrian anywhere. This is definitely unique. Well, we had a good start. Mr. Chandler started it way back in the day, you know, and so yeah. you know we're just trying to improve it a little bit as well as. Uh, Bring back memories. Oh my, it just looks so nice. So nice. This is where you can hang out, folks. Get your cigar, just like we just talked about. Sit in one of them chairs right there, right next to the <laughs> fireplace. <laughs> yeah, just chill for a little bit. Uh huh. Man, oh man. Such a nice place. And still with the old wooden floors. They went with the old wooden floors just to give it a little, uh, you know, uh, feel for it. Yeah. Sure it and yeah. some credibility. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay, let's walk around. And the layout's really very, very uh, comfortable for anybody. They come in, a lot of open spaces. Yeah, yeah it's, it's real there. nice. And you guys, I noticed you guys some real good ventilation in here too. Yes. Uh, it's not going to be one of them smoky, smoky things where you can't get out. It has one of the best makeup, air makeup systems, you know, that you could possibly buy. It turns around, I think, anywhere from six to twelve minutes uh, That's constantly. That's cool. So, if you can come up here and, and, uh, and it, with that air makeup system, it takes that cigar smoke completely out. Right. You know, immediately. So. You're not in any kind of uh, uh, a danger of being, you know, having that smoke in your eyes or anything like that. Right. Nature. Cool. This is beautiful up here. I'm going to tell you something, folks. Mr. Gilbert keeps this place spotless clean. <laughs> when you come in here, it's not going to be dirty. This place is clean as a whistle because of this guy right here. They have all these little areas right here. You can get your cigars, hang out right by the peanut roaster, sit there with your buddies, talk over big business deals. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous remodel on the new old Challengers. You're up here in the second floor. She she likes your She's already, you know. Excited. Yeah. Okay, you're looking out one of the second story windows right now, looking on downtown Adrian there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you're going to get a special treat, folks. We're going to ride the elevator. Back in the old days, they didn't have an elevator here, but now they do. This is our elevator. Wow. It goes uh, three floors. I'll have to bring it down from the third floor right now. But, That's uh, okay. We'll be down in a minute, but yeah. yeah, to get our some of our supplies and everything like that, it was a little bit easier to climb in all those stairs. Sure. So you know, it's very convenient for us to use the elevator for uh, bringing right. in uh, our supplies. And if you're one of those real big, uh, important, big wig guys, and you're downstairs and buy your cigar, you could ride the elevator up to the second floor. Absolutely. Just to feel important. Well, not only that too <laughs> is that 
you know, if anyone uh, has a, a handicap or something of that nature, then you got an elevator. Well, you know, we can bring them right up to the second floor or third floor at that point. That's a good point. Uh, my girl's in a wheelchair. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna push this up to the third floor. Okay. Thank you, Gilbert. We're inside the Challoner's elevator for you right now, folks. There goes the door. Whoa, now we're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be out in a minute, though. This is great. You know, they never had the elevator here before. I'm just like a kid in a candy store right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's very convenient for us, and, and uh, let's just hope we're not trapped. <laughs> we're just making jokes. Yeah. It's a very silent elevator, yes, real it nice, is. brand new. There you go. All right, we're up to the third floor now. Okay, cool. And to our immediate left, you're going to see a nice area, our atrium. Oh, wow. And if you can see, see that? If you can see, you immediately go into natural light. That was the whole thing for our skyline, was to get the natural light in here to actually make it look like you're sitting outside. You know, right. Whatever. And it's, uh, this is a, a complete smokeless room. In other words, you cannot smoke in this area at all. Okay. And we wanted to give that comfort to uh, anybody who wanted to come in and just buy a paper and, and come up and read their paper. You know? Right. Because not everybody wants to smoke a cigar, but at least you have an area where you can come up and enjoy, you know, your candy or your coke or whatever. Yeah, I like that. And I like that waterfall over there that you got. That thing is nice. And the waterfall, and, and the other part of that is it relaxes you. This whole room relaxes you. It's all about getting you in the mood of re relaxation, okay? Right. Get rid of some of the daily stress. Exactly. Yeah. This is fabulous, folks. Look at this. Here's a few chairs you can sit around. Like Gilbert said, you can just drink your Coke or eat your candy up here. And like he said, this is a smokeless room. Very, very cool. Eventually, the uh, copper house is going to be open, so you'll be able to, to purchase any kind of uh, latte or coffees or whatever. Uh -huh. My understanding is he's going to be brewing his own uh, uh, coffee beans and everything to make his own brew. Okay, now so, that's the place right next door to Chandler. Place right next to, to Chandler. Right. They're going to uh, be open probably in another month or so, you know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and then you can bring your coffee right up here, sit down, and, and, and like I say, bring your magazine or, or your newspaper. Oh man, this is fabulous. Really, really nice. I never even knew this room was here. There's the skylight, folks. Look at that. I mean, this place is totally and completely refurbished. And what's really cool is that they did not tear the place down. They're rebuilding here in Adrian, not tearing down like a lot of other cities are doing. They get in there and they just tear the old buildings down. They put up some new piece of junk <laughs> that's not going to last, but look what they've done to this old place. Look at the windows. I mean, the bricks, everything. It's just fabulous. It's really beautiful. What they did is really, really beautiful. It is. And it, like you say, and like I've heard you say a couple times, it's a fabulous addition to Adrian. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, this place was kind of going downhill for a few years, and I notice it's coming right back up real Adrian, fast. Adrian should be proud to have something like this in the city, you know, uh, for the community. And, and, and like you say, they did a fabulous job in, in, in doing this, you know, at that point. Mm -hmm. So they, all, they gave Adrian uh, a lot back by putting this here. Yeah, well, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I used to have a lot of trouble when I was a kid down here in Adrian. And, you know, now it's time for me to give back a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, folks. And when you're gone, you're gone. This is what you leave behind. <laughs> a legacy, right? Right. Fabulous. You want to follow me this way? Sure.
Now you got some bathrooms right here in case people want to use the bathroom. Each level has a, a set of bathrooms. Okay, there's the men's right there. You got the girls up here. Women right there. You bet. Hey, little cameo of the Raven right there. How you doing, folks? <laughs> Uh, oh my. This is kind of like a member's uh, area. Uh huh. Wow. And it's uh, kind of like, uh, I hate to say use private because we don't want to actually keep anyone out from using this room or coming into this room. Right. But you know, uh, it's uh, facilitated by a membership, you know, and I'll show you on the other side of that wall what I'm talking about. But you know, uh, you have a lot of stars, you know, back in the day when Adrian was a, a big sports uh, town and everything like that, and we had our own particular stars as well. One particular one that I remember was Bob Westfall. You know, he played at University of Michigan and he played for the Detroit Lions. Uh, you know what? I, I've heard that name before. Uh huh. Yeah. Then another one of our uh, town uh, sports person was Mike Marshall, uh, who played. He was a 1974 uh, Cy Young Award winner, and uh, and he was in the 1974 and 75 Major League All Star, uh, right hand pitcher he was, for the Dodgers. Wow. Now these guys were from Adrian. Yeah, Mike Marshall was, as well as uh, Mr. Westfall there. Okay, cool. Some local want, heroes for you there, folks. If you want to pan up to the uh, shelf up on top, you have a, a good idea of some of the equipment that they used to use back in the days. Uh, there's an old Mi University of Michigan leather helmet. Oh, yeah. A couple of uh, leather helmets back then. They used to use them leather helmets back in racing too. Yeah. Uh, back in the day. Look at that. They have some really, really unique antiques here also, folks. Look at that. Now there's one of the leather helmets right there. Yep. Talk about a headache, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, this place looks fabulous up here. So, uh, if you're going to notice TVs in every one of the rooms that we have here, you know, I don't know exactly how many we have, but we have a TV, so if, we're, if there's a big sports uh, thing going on, University of Michigan basketball, you know, we can tune it in and, and come up here and bring a drink and your cigars and we watch. Right. Not only here, but downstairs you have a couple of TVs as sure. well. So you can sit and watch the game. This is like a, a full service place now. Used to be you just come in here and bought a cigar and walk out. Exactly. Yeah, now you can come in here and hang around the lounge. Man, look at this. Again, you know, they got plenty of seating for you to, for your comfort. You oh, know, try man. Try to make sure that everything, that, that anytime you're smoking a cigar, that you have a nice lounge chair so that you can enjoy that cigar. It, each one of the uh, tables will have an ashtray with some some matches. They have toners on it. Right. So if you need to relight your cigar, you know you can go ahead and relight your cigar. Challenger's matches right there. Man, I mean, you guys have added to this so much. Fabulous, fabulous. Just look at the lounge, folks. Now what are all these? Lockers here? Yes, these lockers are for, like I, I mentioned before, we have the, the membership. And there's a thousand dollar membership per year. Okay. And that's uh, more like the founders uh, type of a membership. And then the uh, kind of a general public, which is a $500 membership as well. And each one of the membership or members will get a, uh, a locker, a personalized locker, a name on the locker and everything. Now these lockers are all uh, uh, 
rigged up in order to humidify your, your cigars. So if you buy a, a box of cigars and put it in your locker, it's going to be like being in a humidor. Wow, that's cool. Yes. That's real cool. So you're never, ever going to have a bad cigar because, you know, it's all going to be taken care of right. at that point. So that's a great, great uh, benefit for cigar smokers, being able to keep their cigars nice and moist. And, and right, and you, got them, you buy a box, you stick them in your locker, and then you can just come up here and grab one out every once in a while and sit down and have a smoke. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. What a capital idea. Yeah, and you have to really, to really, really get the full effect of this place, you have to come down and visit. Mm -hmm. you know? and we have plenty of people that are willing to give you a tour of it. So just come down and uh, we'll have someone ready and willing to come up and, and show you around. And what's the address here, Gilbert? It's 108 uh, Maumee, Maumee, Street. Maumee, Maumee Street. Right, 108 uh, West Maumee. West Maumee. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. 108 West Maumee. This is Challoners, the new Challoners. Now, you've seen the old one. I shot a movie for you of the old place. And there wasn't a lot of it. Now there's more, more, more. They have a bar upstairs, a couple lounges, a non smoking room, an atrium. Wow. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. And there's your lockers right there. Put your cigars in there, and they'll stay nice and humid. You gonna edit that? Yeah, probably later. Okay. Okay, we're back in the elevator, folks. We're gonna go back down to the first floor. All right. This is so cool. Doors closing on you, folks. Good, how are you guys? Okay, we're back down here on the first floor again. Look at that. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you guys? We're back in the first floor at Challoners right here. Okay, folks. You just seen the remodel of the new Challoners. Took on a whole tour of the place from Mr. Gilbert. Hi, how you doing? Good. Got your humidor right here. There's one upstairs as well by the bar. You can walk right in there, get some cigars. Oh, it's just great. Just great. Look at that. Fabulous. Standing around the new challengers for you. That's cool. Let's go on the website? Yeah. You betcha. This is going to go on Adrian's first television station. That's the dog I built. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous place. Okay, folks, you just took a tour of the new Challoners. You see what the place looks like. It's fabulous. Nothing short of fabulous. And all you got to do is hop in your car, come on down here to downtown Adrian. They're fixing the whole place up. And I mean, they got stores like this coming up everywhere. There's new tap houses downtown, new restaurants. They fixed up the library. And they just remodeled Challoners here for you. I mean, really, really cool. My name's The Raven. And you're watching GlobalWorldTV.com. That's Adrian's first television station. We're just making history everywhere we go, folks. Have a nice day. See y'all. Okay, folks, I'm showing you a picture of a of a guy that passed away. He used to work here for many, many years. He owned the place. Dwayne Flint. And if you 
used to come in here when you were a kid. You might remember this guy. He was here for many, many years. They have all kinds of history about Challoners here. Starting Detective Adventures. They used to sell magazines here. All kinds of stuff. Here's a picture of him and Carol. Carol and Dwayne Flint right there. Challoner and Company. They're the, one of the old owners. After Bill Challoner, I believe. Little history of the place right there, right above the old Coke machine. Now what do we have over here, Gilbert? Uh, this is uh, Mr. Uh, Bill Chandler, and then uh, Mildred, uh, his, I don't know if that's his wife or not, but, because I don't know him well. Now that's where the name came from, Bill Chandler. That's what the place used to look like. Looking at a few of the pictures of the old place, this is how it used to look way back in the day. Hard to shoot on the pictures with the glare. I know folks, everything's glaring from the windows, but doing the best we can. We're not NBC, <laughs> and we don't claim to be. There's Bill again up there. Bill Challoner. And one more look at this fabulous popcorn machine. Look at this thing. Beautiful. The way they remodeled it, refurbished it. It's the same one they had here a long, long time ago. Chicago, Illinois. Raymond. Yeah. Want a bag? Sure, I'll take one with me. You betcha, look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Mr. Gilbert. You're welcome. And thank you for giving us the tour. Thank you. There it is, folks. You just seen Challoners through the Raven's eyes. Now, folks, they have a book right here laying on the counter that you can look at. And it shows the whole progression of the remodel. I mean, this book is really cool. It's full of pictures when they were doing the remodel. Fabulous. Okay, thanks, Mr. Gilbert. Thank you, Mr. Raven. All right. Challoner and Company, folks, you just seen it. You were upstairs, you were upstairs, third floor, second floor, first floor. And I mean it, they remodeled the place and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You just saw it. Now, I'm showing you the place right next door. 
the Copper House Coffee Company. It's going to be open pretty soon. Sister business to Chowner and Company. They're really giving back to Adrian, folks. This is the new Chowners. See ya!